Welcome to another video and here we are with a productivity application for Android called Panels. Now this application produces results similar to Samsung's Edge Panel with the exception that you can't drag an app from a created panel for multi-window or split screen viewing. Panels allows you to add a panel to either the left, bottom, or right side of the display that can store app icons, shortcuts, widgets, or an application list. Now, although the application is called Panels, you'll want to use the search term Panel on the Google Play Store to find the application easier. Once installed, we can get to work. So here we are in the settings. I think this is the home screen for the application. This is where you will default to once you open it. Now, you'll likely have to activate the panel's application. There is a slider over here. You wanna make sure that that's highlighted and you may have to grant permissions as well. Now, the panel's application features several settings that you can play around with in your spare time. But again, we're going to focus on simply creating a panel, so we're going to tap on View. Now, before we get started on panel creation, you'd like to see the side you'll be editing. So as you can see here, I'm showing the right side, and I want to show the left. So we're going to look for the pencil icon and tap on that. And then we're going to go to select current side, and then I'm going to select left. So as you can see, I have panels already created right here. Our first panel is going to be a widget panel. Then we're going to have an application panel. Then we're going to have an application and shortcut panel. So let's go ahead and create a new panel, which will be done by tapping on the pencil icon. And then we could tap on add panel. Now, once again, you can add a panel to the right the left or the bottom. Now I have panels on the right and the left. I did try the bottom, but the issue that I ran into while trying to place a panel at the bottom was that it interfered with other system gestures. So I deleted it, but I might try to play with it some more and see if it is possible to add a panel to the bottom. The other thing you can do is get rid of the navigation at the bottom that I have here that might allow you to use a bottom panel as well. So we're going to add a panel to the left, tap on that option. So once again, we're going to have panel types. First, we're going to have apps and shortcuts, app list, contacts, and widgets. Now I'm going to go with apps and shortcuts. And then there's a dialog box. If you wish, you can rename your panel. You can give it a name but this isn't mandatory. So I'm going to skip this. I'm just going to tap OK. So as you can see, we're going to have a default panel created. Now we can reconfigure it by pulling down this slide down menu, which has a list of options and we'll run through all of them here. So first we can do rounded corners. Now, as I make the changes that are going to happen here, keep an eye on this panel. So rounded corners is going to be first, and that's going to allow us to either make it more square or more rounded. And you could go all the way to the right if you like. We'll leave it there. Then we're going to have our horizontal offset. So if we drag this, it's going to bring that panel further out to the right. Just something to note there. Then we're going to have our vertical position dependent on where you want the widget to be. I'm going to leave it there. And then we're going to have columns, so you can add more columns. And you can pull this menu up to see what's going on here. Or you can remove columns. Now I'm going to go with three, because three looks good. And then we're going to have rows, so you can add more rows if you would like. Or you could have less rows. And there are some other options underneath here, but we're going to skip those once again, just to keep the tutorial simple. Now, once you're done with configuration, we can go to the home screen to test things out. And the panels will load up shortly after you go to that home screen. So here we are. This is what we're going to look like. That's going to be on the left side. And here we're going to have our empty panel there. And just to show you quickly, we're going to have our right panel. You can see that this one is nice and large. This is a widget panel, and it looks like we're going to have Pocket Cast at the top and Spotify underneath. 
So let's go ahead and add some items to this panel. We're going to press and hold anywhere in an open area, and then I'm going to tap on application. Then we're going to look for an application out of this list here. I'm just going to pick something. We'll go with digital well-being and tap done. So there we go. We have our application in the panel there. Now I want to add a shortcut to this panel. So once again, I'll press and hold anywhere in an open area, and then we're going to tap on shortcut. Now I like the idea of adding a book, so we're going to tap book, and then we're going to choose a book. We'll go with altered carbon, and then I'm going to just check out the panel, make sure it works, and we're going to try and open the book. So that works really well also. Now you can also delete a panel if you don't want one in here. So for example, we made this one, we could tap on the pencil icon, then we could tap on delete, reposition, rename, and then we're going to look for the side that it corresponds to. So this is on the left side, and it's normally the last item in the list, and we're going to tap on the garbage can there, and then we're going to tap apply. Now really quick, I do want to add a widget panel so that you can see what that looks like. So again, we're going to tap on the pencil icon, add a panel, then we're going to pick the left side again, and then we're going to tap on widgets. Again, you can name it if you like. We're going to tap OK. And this is going to give us a default panel. Again, you can make changes in the pull down menu there, but we're going to return to the home screen. And then I'm going to go to that panel should be the last one on the list here. I'm going to press and hold. Then we're going to tap on widget. And then we'll look for a widget that we can add. So we'll go with flipboard, five by one. There we go. Sometimes you can also resize this so that it fits a little bit better. You can make it more narrow, larger, uh, or wider. You can make it shorter or taller. And uh, I believe you can add another widget here. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll see if we can do Duolingo. And there we go, Duolingo fits in there as well. And once again, you can resize this if possible. Then we can go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to tap on Flipboard and we can see that that works. You can also tap on Duolingo, but it's going to rotate the display for me, so I'm not going to show that one. But we can go to the home, and you'll see that the panel stays out there if you like. If you want to hide it, you could swipe it to the left. So that is it for today's content. I wanted to share this application. I've been using it for some time, and I found it very useful. And I wanted to share it with all of you so that maybe you can get a productivity boost or enhance your UI. Again, even if you have a Samsung device that already includes a panel, you can add additional panels because sometimes one isn't enough and this list can fill up pretty quick. And Samsung's Edge panel does allow extra panels, which is useful, but sometimes you want more panels in other areas to improve accessibility for the UI. So let me know in the comments down below if you think this application is useful, if you're going to use it, and just your general thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.